storm drain on a busy street isn't something you normally think of when it comes to an art and education project, but think again. The Enchanted Circle Theater of Holyoke and the Hitchcock Center for the Environment have teamed up for the Storm Drain Art Project, using art to educate students about the environment. Producer Dave Fraser hit the streets of Holyoke to show us what it's all about. Then I sat down with Priscilla Kane Helwig of Enchanted Circle Theater and Patty O'Donnell from the Hitchcock Center to learn even more. Well, I was chosen by Enchanted Circle Theater to represent the designs that were chosen from fifth graders of for the Storm Drain Art Contest that Enchanted Circle Theater did with um, the Hitchcock Science Center. The work is completely their design, so I didn't change the design element, I just changed what they actually look like in terms of giving them more three-dimensionality, giving them actual true color. So we try to stick with the um, animals that were close to the Connecticut River and close to this area. I loved them, I thought they were wonderful. And they were so, they were so smart in terms of like w the words that they chose with the designs and also how they came up with the designs, which was really, because it was a quick process and what they came up with was pretty, pretty wonderful. The program is, is all about uh, water, uh, the river, keeping the river clean, what happens um, on the street uh, with storm drains. You know, we go by them every day. Uh, we don't pay much attention, but uh, the, the storm drains uh, are really a key to keeping the river clean. We actually have a, a model of a city street. We have a combined system uh, piping that they can see. They, they make their own wastewater out of uh, cereal, crushed cereal, coffee grounds, chocolate syrup. They pour it down the sewer line. They watch it go into the treatment plant model. It's all hands-on. It's uh, instead of just them sitting there, they interact. It's been such a blessing to see like people coming by. Like they're so excited about it. Like thanking me for putting that on in their in their community. And it's just been such a blessing. And people yeah, come through here in all different ages that just seem really gravitate towards the colors, towards like the sayings, like they, everybody has like a different favorite. And so it's just been a wonderful process and it just is wonderful to give back to a community that's really appreciative of it. And with us now to tell us more about the Storm Drain Art and Advocacy Project are Priscilla Kane Hillwig, Executive Artistic Director, I love that title, Enchanted Circle Theater in Holyoke, Patty O'Donnell is environmental educator at Hitchcock Center for the Environment in Amherst. Your organizations are the prime movers behind this and the, the vision behind this project, as I read about it, some of the material you supplied me, it's, it's other parts of the country, it's here in Holyoke, it's, it's a, a big overarching idea. There's a movement of frontier, yeah, absolutely. About, well, our organizations have been working together for about 20 years and every two or so years, we come up with a, a new project to work on. And um, another collaborator mentioned to us about this storm drain art that's happening around the country. And we heard about Fayetteville, Arkansas. And we heard about Springfield, Missouri. And we thought, well, this is really interesting because we combine theater arts and science and hands-on creative arts integration. And we thought, well, if we combine the water cycle and urban issues of combined sewage overflow and human issues of civic engagement and stewardship of the river and have the students get in there really learning about the science and then interpreting it for the general public, it was a win, 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 win. And I mean, this goes directly to, uh, and also, by the way, environmental educator, very cool title, Patty O'Donnell. <laughs> It goes right to what Hitchcock is all about, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. And and uh, our work with Enchanted Circle Theater and Holyoke Schools over the years is we always are complementing what the teachers are, are expected to teach students in terms of the frameworks, the education frameworks. So, so the, we look at a given grade level, and in this case it was fifth grade, and, and we saw, well, what, what, what's different? What haven't we done yet? And, and we, we were focusing in on water cycle. And then we thought, well, we can take this and create this curriculum that's going to reinforce all the concepts that students need to learn, but to do it in a way that connects them to their local community, to a big, uh, like an uh, environmental stewardship issue, and that really gives them a sense of ownership and pride about where they live. So. 
of the MO of the work that we do is that we take what they're already learning and kind of build their own critical thinking and creative thinking so that it becomes theirs. So we're not kind of adding something onto the school curriculum. We're kind of lifting it up. Right. Before I forget and we go any further, we want to say at the risk of embarrassing both of you, congratulations to both Enchanted Circle Theater and the Hitchcock uh, Center for the Environment, joint winners of a 2015 Commonwealth Award, the highest honor in the arts, <clears throat> sciences, and humanities. Super big deal. I know they had a ceremony at the State House in Boston. And it's all about, you know, we're talking a lot about STEM these days, science, technology, engineering, math, all very important. But STEAM is the new thing, putting A into STEM for arts. And that's what this is about, right? right. This is about, right. exactly. Right. That's what the, the award was about <clears throat> our, our science and arts integration work that we've done over the years. And just a, a recognition that it's, it's just uh, very, very effective at, at reaching students so that they're learning the STEM, but they're learning it in, in, a, in a more integrated way. And it also draws in more students because you're not just teaching through uh, just the lens of kind of traditional science education. You're, you're including the arts and, and movement and literature and... And innovative the, thought. It's all about innovation, really. And I, I was just reading about um, NASA, whenever they are doing um, new think tanks for any big projects, they always invite artists in. And so the marriage between arts and science, it's all about creative, critical thinking, problem solving, looking at it from different perspectives, innovative thought. And this is 21st century learning. Patty O'Donnell, Priscilla, Kane Helwig, thank you both for everything you're doing for our kids. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you for having us.